If you are one of the many Netflix users who share your password with someone who doesn't live with you, you might be wondering what your options are now that Netflix has announced a crackdown on password sharing in the UK. According to a Mirror report, Netflix will soon ask users to set a primary location and verify their identity with a code sent to their phone or email. If you don't live at the primary location, you will have three choices. Stop using Netflix, get your own account, or become an extra member of the existing account. But what are the pros and cons of each option? Let's take a look. Option 1. Stop using Netflix This is the simplest and cheapest option, but also the most drastic. If you decide to stop using Netflix altogether, you will miss out on all the exclusive shows and movies that Netflix offers, such as Stranger Things, The Crown, Bridgerton, The Witcher, and many more. You will also lose access to your watch history, recommendations, and profiles. You might be able to find some alternatives on other streaming services, but you will probably have to pay for them separately. Option 2. Get your own account This is the most expensive option, but also the most independent. If you decide to get your own Netflix account, you will have full control over your subscription plan, payment method, profiles, and preferences. You will also be able to watch Netflix on any device and in any location without worrying about verification codes or extra fees. However, you will have to pay the full price for your subscription plan, which ranges from £5.99 to £13.99 per month in the UK depending on the number of screens and the video quality. Option 3. Become an extra member This is a new option that Netflix is introducing as part of its password sharing crackdown. If you decide to become an extra member of an existing account, you will be able to continue using Netflix as before, but with some limitations. You will have to pay an additional fee on top of the existing subscription plan, which is cheaper than getting your own account but more expensive than sharing for free. The exact fee has not been announced yet but according to TechRadar it could be around £3 per month. You will also have to verify your identity every time you log in with a code sent to your phone or email. You will not be able to change the primary location or the payment method of the account. You will also be limited by the number of screens and the video quality of the existing subscription plan. So which option is best for you? That depends on your budget, your viewing habits, and your relationship with the person who owns the account. If you are close friends or family members who watch Netflix together often, you might want to split the cost of an extra member fee or get your own account. If you are casual acquaintances who rarely watch Netflix or have different tastes, you might want to stop using Netflix or look for other streaming services. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what works best for you and respect Netflix's terms of service.